Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 100, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. We finally uh, finished up everything on Onderon and Dixon. We got the Mandalore in our party. We've even added some more Mandalorians to his cause, getting us a little influence with the Mandalore. And we got uh, Mira up to take her first levels in being a Jedi Sentinel. I, I, I kind of wish we'd been able to, to keep her at a lower level earlier than this so we could add more Sentinel levels than what we're going to be able to do, but I'll take what I can get. Um, I don't get a Baby Yoda, and that's the wrong Mandalore. He has better armor. It's true, I mean. All right, let's level her up, and let's let her take her first levels as a Jedi Sentinel. She does get some skill points, which is good, because computer use, demolitions, uh, repair, security, and treat injury. Yeah, we'll, we'll just keep bumping it up like that, and it won't be quite level appropriate for where she's at, but uh, that'll work. Uh, pro I don't know. This being as old a game as it is, I don't know that anybody's going to add that in. Although I bet if I checked out the Steam Workshop, somebody might have already added that. Uh, this Mandalore has all the Beskar. He, he's got he's got the real Beskar, like everything from head to toe and everything in between. All right, how do, what do I want to do? I want to send her down the two up in fighting. No, I seem to recall she already had the do. Yeah, she's already got all the dueling feet, so I don't want to do two up in fighting with her. Um, I I definitely want to <laughs> baby Chewy get out of here with that. Are you kidding me, baby Chewy? All right, what do I want to do? I I want to go. I, yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'd like to put her in medium armor at some point, but probably not right now. Yeah, exactly, Arcadius. Th this is the Mandalore from uh, <laughs> way back when they had the serious armor. All right, let's go ahead and get her... I want to get her weapons focus blaster pistol and weapons focus lightsaber. I don't have enough lightsabers to go around just yet, so... We'll do the Weapons Focus Blaster Pistol right now. Okay. Oh, that's right. I'm going to have a bunch of levels for her, so... That that works, too. I don't know if I'm going to let her go the unarmored route with the robes, or... Oh, wait, no. I got the light armor that'll work. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we do need to find a dark saber eventually. i got to figure out what powers I'm going to give her, too. She's got two... Um, since I've got the, the initiate robes, let's go ahead and start her down the battle meditation, and I love giving everybody heal, because you can never have enough people that can heal. But let's do that. Okay. And accept. That's right, because we got about eight levels to catch her up, so let's do that. Skills, computer demolition, uh, repair, security, treat injury. Bam. Powers. She gets one more, so let's go ahead and let's bump up the battle meditation. Okay. Let's level her up and go skills, computer use, demolitions, repair, security, treat injury. Okay. Uh, and I want, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and give her the weapons focus lightsaber while we're at it. Alright, uh, I can't give her the better battle meditation, so I'll give her the improved heal. Okay. And attributes. Now here's the interesting one. Uh, I just realized that she is super dexterity based because her main focus was a single blaster pistol, so I might... At the next opportunity, have to get her the Weapons Finesse Lightsaber feat. Uh, so that way we can use her dex for attack. It means her, strength, her, her actual damage output won't be that much. Because strength is still what 
impacts for damage. But uh, I'll take it. I definitely want to get her constitution up one more. Because hit points... Man, some of my minions just... They lose hit points so quick. Alright, skills, computer use, demolitions... Yep, we're just going down the same basic ones. Although, honestly, I don't know if I should uh, skimp out on security and put the points in, the, in stealth or something else. Or use uh, the extra point that was going into security to get some of these others up a little bit higher. I'll have to rethink that. Alright, powers. I She can't get the top level heal yet or that. Uh, force push is one that everybody gets, and we all got to start somewhere, so let's get the basic force push. Alright, and accept, and level up, and skills. Hmm. You know what, I'm not going to worry about computer use. I am going to go with demolitions, though, because I need more people with demolitions and repair. And treat injury because that's going to help her heal and a couple other things. All right. Uh, can't top that one off. Can't top that one off. But we can push people around just a little bit better. There we go. Level up and skills. Uh, demolitions and repair. And we'll top off treat injury. Ah, close to. And then we'll figure out where to go from there. All right, feats, force immunity, and unarmed specialist. Nice. Where is weapons, finesse, lightsaber? Finesse, lightsaber. All right, the character can add either their dexterity or strength to their chance to hit, whichever is higher. Yes, please. Powers. We got one more. Let's top off that battle meditation. Okay. And level up. Then we'll go skills, let's get repair, and demolitions, and let's crank the rest into treat injury. Okay. And feats. Now we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Because I'm not sure that I want to keep adding more precise shot feats. Although, again, we come back to I don't have enough lightsabers to go around, so... Giving her more more precise shot, and I might keep her with a blaster as her main anyway. Um, hmm. Medium armor wouldn't be bad either. All right, empathy is not going to help her. Improve caution. As for demolitions and stealth, and I am trying to keep her demolitions up. Uh, she's not, not my gearhead. Conditioning isn't bad. And I think she's already got, now uh, toughness is always useful too. Uh, although since she's not going to have a lot of force points to start off with, and she's going to be a little bit behind because of the 12 levels of scoundrel, uh, regenerate force points could be really nice because... Going through the few points that she has, uh, some way to recover them faster would be nice. Speaking of powers, now let's go ahead and get that Master Heal. Okay. And we got at least one more level up. And here's... Here's where we get into the questions. Do uh, Intelligence is only going to help her skill points. And skill, her skills are all over the place. I'm not going to worry too much about them. Uh, improving her constitution would help because that would get her hit points and the ability to use higher level implants, which would also be nice. Uh, bumping up her strength would be nice to help with damage. If we could get that to at least 12, that would be good because then we're getting in that extra point of damage every time she hits. And since uh, we're running off dexterity, that's going to help too. Although... Getting dexterity up to 18 wouldn't be bad either, because that would increase her ability to hit by one and add one more to her defense, um, assuming armor allows a max dex of plus four. Wisdom would help, because that would help her willpower and her force points and the, and the, uh, the, uh, her force power abilities. 
Uh, charisma is nice, but I, I'm not. I'm not running a crew of high charisma. Somebody probably should be, because Star Knights of the Old Republic Two added a really neat, a really neat feature where uh, somebody with a high charisma takes less of a hit when these powers of an opposite alignment, and more importantly, a high enough charisma improves your companion's chance to hit. Uh, so in other words, if somebody's walking around with a charisma of 16, everybody in the party gets a bonus to hit, uh, which is kind of nice. I just, I've got other places, like that's never been enough of a deciding factor to go, okay, yes, I totally want to put skill points there. Because if everybody's got a high enough wisdom, that works too. I think I'm going to go, I, I, you know, I'm going to get the constitution up to 16 first. And then I'll reassess from there. All right, skills. We got demolitions and repair. And that puts treat injury back up. Where else do I want to put some points? I'll put one point in there so that way she can at least use the stealth skill. Because you have to have at least one skill point there. And then, uh, I, don't, I don't know if I'll actually have her use it or not. But uh, with a high enough demolitions, I do like sending people in stealth into minefields to uh, recover them. And then go from there. Alright, powers. Uh, let's push people around even better. Oh, she does have one more level in her. Okay. Two, three, and... Where do I put those last two points? Not awareness. We we got enough awareness in the group. Um... Hmm. That is... Eh, let's toss them in computer use. And we'll just make that our grind until we get that up to the top. Okay. Beats. A left and a right. No. Um, I had something I was going to do. But I'm struggling to remember. I think it was toughness. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was toughness. Because we want to get her those extra hit points. She, she keeps uh, going mid-range on the vitality. All right. Um. Now what? Now what skill? Now what? Uh, force power tree? Am I gonna send her up? Revitalize. Rekindle the life energies. It'd be nice to have somebody with a little resurrect. I don't think I have anybody with that force body. No. That that that's for the that's for the knight types. Like the bruiser types. Uh, force resistance. We haven't run into enough people with actual force powers to make that worthwhile. So we'll go with either energy resistance or force barrier. And we'll start working those two. Alright, let's go with energy resistance. Okay. There we go. Now we've got her leveled up. And now she can actually, uh, oh, no, she needs medium armor proficiency. She needs weapon spec, blaster pistol, and blaster rifle. Okay. Um, might have to do that. That needs heavy armor proficiency. Better than nothing, because she's got nothing. And damage immunity and some charisma is always nice. All right, we'll go with that. I'm pretty sure there's a couple other things. Yeah, I'll have to go through the weapons and equipment later and, and figure out some better stuff. Um, I'm tempted to get her the Mandalorian power shields because like the main character, she's got equipment on the other hand that prevents me from doing a physical shield and an energy shield as the two arm slots. And I do want to keep that as an option. So I'll leave everything right there as it is. But uh, I am also going to save this before I forget, because we just spent a l we spent a lot of time leveling. Okay. Now that we got all that done, um, which way was out of here? Oh, the other side. Of course it is. 
We need to be on the west side. We gotta go to the west end. I was trying to figure out something to do with the west side story, but that, that wasn't happening either. I'm pretty sure that's everything we needed to do here on Nar Shada. I might have to head back to Telos for the HK factory, but uh, I might hold off on that for another time because I definitely wanted to get started with Korriban. I'm, matter of fact, I might save the HK uh, factory missions for after Korriban. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Loading. Please wait. Oh! Oh, no ship drama. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I, I did not need any more, any more drama on this ship. I, I am happily I am happy to have a drama free ship. Alright, let me switch to this capture mode because we're about to go a flying. Come on, go to the galaxy map. There we go. We need to go to Korriban. Here we go. Chromatic music. Flying! These are cute, but I wish they were skippable. Alright. What horrible fate is about to befall us as we land on Korriban? Something bad's gonna happen. It happens every time we start a new planet. Somebody comes out of somewhere to shoot us down. We crash. Atten's gotta fix the ship. Oberadur's gotta fix the ship. Come on. Give me the bad news. Right now. Let's have it. And a trap made of lightsaber springs out of the ground, piercing the ship. No? Okay. We've hit the ground. This is Korriban. <laughs> Why would one of the Jedi you're looking for come here? I have no An idea. An adequate job, pilot. Mm. Perhaps An here adequate there job? is some trace of those who pursue us. I sense that we may be truly alone on the surface. There are signs of life on the surface. Beasts by the dozen. So don't <laughs> worry. You won't be quite as lonesome as she makes out. You Thank you, Discount your, Han Solo. Uh, lightsaber sharp. Or do whatever you do in these situations. Keep your lightsaber Although sharp? I think Seriously? The mechanical devices are probably accurate. If there are Sith here, their numbers are few, and they are hidden. Hmm. It seems quiet. Too Just quiet. The wind. Oh, wait. That's a Western. But deep beneath the surface, you can feel the pain of what took place here. This place merely tolerates sentience walking upon it. It is pleased to have been left alone. There is great power here for those with the ambition to use it. I bet there, there is. There is great power in this place for those who can hear its call. There is much that would draw a Jedi to this place. The resting grounds of the ancient and more recently <laughs> departed Sith. Guess he's about to depart some more Sith. Even more recently than that. Place to find Wait, that didn't Jedi make sense. Is the ruins of the old academy. Okay. Uh, I guess I can go back to the camera too. Because it's going to be this kind of stuff. Alright. What happened here? Do you think there are any living Sith here? Let's go with what happened here. It was said that Revan intended to return to Korriban to subdue any potential Sith insurgents. Yeah. But Revan disappeared. It took uh, a year yeah. or two for the Republic to send a force here to deal with any Sith that may have remained. They found Korriban much as we have, barren and lifeless. It was assumed that the remnants of the Sith turned on that's, each other, vying that's for a fair assumption. power remained. The Republic found evidence that several Sith lords escaped Korriban fleeing to remote sections of the galaxy. Do you think there are any living Sith here? As lifeless as it seems, the dark side is very strong here. The Sith yeah, I noticed would that. not ignore such a powerful place. There is much that can be learned, even here. You should go to the ruins of the old academy. If there are any traces here of Sith, that is where they would be. <laughs> Alright, let's head out then. If you walk Korriban's surface, you shall walk it without me. Okay, because somebody's got to be excluded, apparently. Everywhere we've been, somebody's not been able to go. So I guess it's your turn. All right, why won't you come? Fine. I didn't want your company anyway. 
I'll stay here and keep the engines primed in case we need to leave quickly. Uh, let's ask why. I cannot. This place is strong with the dark side. <laughs> it is difficult to center myself here. Korriban holds few secrets from me, but much that you should learn. Yeah, okay. Alright, very well. Stay here. Our link oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you'll I interrupt me at the least opportune moments. When needed. The academy is on the other side of this valley. Be careful. Dark <laughs> energy fills these ruins. Yes, go to and the Sith training grounds. Sith live still. Oh. Oh, I think we all know why Kriya doesn't want to go. Alright. So we're searching for traces of the Lost Jedi in the ruins of Korriban, and we need to start with the Academy. Uh, I've done a crew check-in in a while, but that'll that'll have to wait until maybe maybe next go round. Uh, ways out? No, that's not the way out. How can somebody get lost on their own ship so many times? No, don't answer that. Don't answer that. All right. Now here's the question: Who? do we take with us? Uh, I need... Yeah, exactly. High or low. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Arcadius is the, the DM for our D&D &D group. And he has this fun little game he likes to play called High or Low where you're about to enter into a situation or randomly on a trip or randomly at night or you get the idea. He'll just go, high or low? And you have to pick a number between 1 and 20. Or, no, you'll have to go high or low. And then sometimes, you know, if you guess right, he'll go, how low? And it'll be a number between 1 and 10. Or if you guess right and he says, how high? It's a number between 10 and 20. And, uh, yeah, it's never fun. Nothing good comes of that. Especially if you guess wrong. All right. I need, I need good ranged support, which means I'm going to either need Mandalore, HK, or maybe Atten. Uh, although I need to level Atten up a little bit. He's, he's fallen behind the power curve because, uh, he's only level 17, and, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> it, it, some amazing things have happened. That, that is a thing that can occur. <laughs> Although, I should probably take Goto with me, too. Uh, you know what? I might take Goto and Bowder. Because droids get a buff when he's around. Yeah, yeah, I, I think this is what I'm going to want. Because I gave Goto a, a mod that lets him use blaster rifles. An in-game mod, not not a. The structures you see around you are the no judgment. tombs of the ancient Sith lords. Hmm. Each tomb was once infused with the history and heritage of the old Sith Empire, containing great, containing mysteries. great mysteries. Tell me more about these powerful relics. Force. How does one acquire How said relics? The many traps could not long hold back the curious, the fools, and the weak. And so these tombs fell, spilling their secrets into the hands of those unable mm -hmm. to comprehend or preserve them. But how do I find them? Oh, both of them need to level up. All right. So here's the question. I'm at 24 minutes into the episode. Let, let me let me round this off by leveling them up. I, I spent a little bit more time uh, leveling people than I'd intended to, but let's go ahead and get these guys leveled up. I am keeping him as a tech specialist because skills. He gets a ton of skill points, and just about everything's a skill for him. So we're going to max out his computer use and his demolitions, and uh, I think I'm going to stop topping off his awareness because some of the st uh, basically he's the guy that I use whenever I need to make stuff. Different things you make at the crafting benches are keyed off of different skills and there is there are some things you can make at the crafting bench that actually key off the awareness skill. 
But I, I'm like 90% sure that an awareness of 23 is more than enough to to hit the minimum requirements for just about everything I could want to build along those lines. I'll have to check after the stream just to double check. Or or somebody somebody feels uh, like, like checking a, a wiki somewhere and finding out what the highest awareness you need to, to craft stuff with. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Hi. <laughs> but I know I need to bump up his treat injury for some of the other stuff. Because uh, the, the, the only thing that I can't get him to do are, are the stealth stuff. But I'm not going to bother adding that as a class skill because he's so far behind now, it's not worth it. I've got other people with a high enough stealth skill to, to fill in for that. Alright, that's good. And let's level up Goto. He has a more limited skill set. So we'll go ahead and bump up his computer use repair security. And I'm going to keep the stealth up just a little bit. Okay. And I'm running out. I'm actually running out of feats for him. I didn't expect that to happen. Uh, so here's the question. I could do weapons focus blaster pistol. Uh, although his main weapon is not a blaster pistol. It's a rifle. I gave him some a really nice benefit for that. I could add demolitions as a class skill finally, which will allow me to level that up a lot faster. Although I'm tempted to do improved toughness because uh, he's not built for the for hit points like that. Uh, and improved caution would also help because that would help his demolitions and stealth. Hmm. Let's do the improved toughness. And then maybe next time I'll do the, uh, the blaster proficiency. Uh, he is good for skills, mostly. But a, a lot of things that are good for just about any other droid work well for him. Uh, one of these. I think it's this one. Yes, the droid warfare upgrade. I don't know if you realize it, but you notice all these, uh, hey, thank you for the follow, wear tag. Um, all these bonus feats, like bonus feat weapons proficiency blaster rifle and weapon specialization blaster rifle, even though technically droids cannot use, or these kinds of droids cannot use a blaster rifle with that droid warfare upgrade. He can now use a blaster rifle. And it is amazing. Uh, which reminds me, uh, 4 to 16, 3 to 14. No, I think I actually want to keep him with the two, the two pistols. That's surprising. Oh, that's right, because I haven't upgraded the Blaster Rifle. He's just got the stock rifle. Uh, do I not have another another type of rifle? That's uh, a Blaster Pistol. Blaster Pistol. That's uh, the same. Yeah. Uh, pistol, Pistol, Pistol. I thought I had another rifle around here. All right, I guess not. All right, I'll have to I'll have to check that later. But anyway, yeah. So he is really good for skills, yeah, and he's good for uh, for most of the other stuff the droids are good for. And I still need to get more influence with him, and I'm hoping I can do that as we go about things. But uh, we'll, we'll find out a little bit more in just a minute. Well, that was fun, unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up live stream archives from some of my other stuff and various and sundry other videos because I do more than just this and if you want to get notifications don't forget to hit the bell and if you really truly enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff if you have any 
questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or open your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.